Hi everybody, welcome back to the second chapter of this product showcase at Midwest 2020. In this portion of the showcase, we're going to show you some of the features of the Malcat Pro and how they can be used in a band room application. Please enjoy. Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to Midwest 2020 and this next chapter regarding the Mallet Cat 8.5 with GigCat 2 module. Uh, in this video we're going to cover what functions are really usable for the band room in a real you know basement level type of thinking, what's available, how it works with the module, and then we're also going to explore some of the sounds and some of the beautiful playing by uh, our, our great friend and, and artist Mar uh, Mario DeCutis, uh, he's going to go through that. So in the last video we set this thing up, we talked about you know some of the sounds included and how to get around them, but what's what's the reality here? So the reality is there, we, we did the recording session and we created our very own user kit. Um, which is 127 sounds you know again you know you have the listing of all the sounds comes with the instrument all of this is also online you can take a peek at it we'll we'll attach this to the uh the showcase as well so that you can take a full listing look at all the sounds that are included so what you have is you've got you know three basic different um, kits that you can use in the mallet cat that should be explained there is a user kit that is the kit that we have custom made for the mallet cat and the gig cat that includes all the marimbas and all the vibes we 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 took the best sounds that we could and we created uh, that user kit so right out of the box if you've got uh, a piece of band music and you've got a student that needs to have a bell part and a timp and and a, uh, a glock and, well a bell part a tubular bell part and a xylophone part in the same piece and they want to use the mallet cat it is as simple as hitting the foot switch knowing what number uh, program that sound is in the mallet cat and just hitting setup and then let's say you want to go to sound 13 one three boom you're there so sound 13 is crotales that's a great one Turn up the volume a little bit here. So there's a crotale sound. Now let's say that you've got a, a part and you need to go to, um, let's say you've got a, let's choose glockenspiel. So that's sound 12. So it's just, you. there's a foot switch that you hit. It opens up the editing function. You hit setup and you go to 1, 2, 12. And boom, they're at the glockenspiel. So it's as simple as that. And you can walk away right there. But the the chains is really what's a, a unique feature of um, the functionality here. So what a chain is, is it's something that you would program. And when you're, when you're in chain mode, using the backwards and forwards button here, you can easily and quickly switch sounds. So let's say that, you know, you want to create a chain and in that chain, Channel 1 is glockenspiel, channel 2 is timpani, channel 3 is xylophone, channel 4 is vibraphone. You can just channel up and down with these two toggles right here and instantly change that. That takes a little bit of programming, but it's not rocket science. All that you have to do is, is use the editor function in the bank select and you move your bank to the user kits, user kit number 1, program the sound, and it's in there. And then you're using the up and down to just change from sound to sound within that piece of music, and you can program many of those. You can program a bunch of different chains, and if you've got a whole concert and you want just you're using exclusively the mallet cat, you can have, you know, five to six, ten pieces of music set up and know that you can just keep following the chain along. And that's that's what it is. You know, you hear this chain, it, it sounds technical almost at first, but you're really just chaining together all of the sounds that you need to get to the end of the line in a piece. Then there's also the factory setups. And the factory setups, there's a ton of them. This, this module is much more than just what we did programming 127 user kits, there's a whole bunch of more sounds that are built into this that you have access to and there's a full listing on, on our website and available when you buy the when you buy the gig cat. It comes with an owner's manual and it tells you what all those sounds are. So that's really, you know, I, I think the functionality for the band room, one of the biggest things is A, you know, it's easy to use, it's easy to set up, it sounds great, and using chains and factory presets and just knowing what your numbers are, you can navigate this very, very well, or you can program it for a performance and make sure that it's all set to go. 
Um, you know, you can also, you know, kind of high level, you can also use a digital audio, you know, workstation with this and you can use other libraries of sound. If, if you're working in a pit and you need, you know, you need something to crash, you need something to break. There are other sounds that maybe aren't in here, but you can access in other sound libraries. Um, so that's, that's the basic of the difference between a factory kit, a chain, using the chain, and um, using our user kit, which is pre-programmed by us, and again, the easiest way to go, you know, just change the number of sound that you're on and get through the instrument. So um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to have Mario play for you a little bit. We're going to go through some of the sound. So we're going we're gonna to play a little bit of marimba for you. We're going to show you an example of how well the vibes can sound now. With Mario playing the vibes, it's a lot different than me playing the vibes because he's a great player. And you'll see also the functionality of the pedaling and dampening and how the bars can sound and also the sensitivity too. You've got a huge velocity range um, as we've showed before. You've got a huge velocity range. Um, then we're going to look at some orchestral per percussion. And then he's going to quickly go through a little bit of timpani, bells, and silos so that you can really get uh, a professional player's taste of all of these great sounds that are included in the Mallet Cat 8.5 with Gig Cat 2. So I hope you enjoy listening to the sounds, and we'll see you again in the next, uh, the next chapter. Thanks again for sticking around. Enjoy listening to this great playing. I hope you enjoyed listening to those sounds. Sounds are amazing, bar none. You, you, the playing is great, of course. Mario's a great player. So the playing was great. The sounds are great. We're really glad that you enjoyed that. Now in this next chapter, chapter uh, three, I believe, we will, we're will we going to hand it over to Mario, and he's going to go through what all that functionality that I talked about a little bit earlier, exactly how it works. We're going to point out the buttons on the keyboard, and he's, he's over the... Um, the digital pad here showing a little bit of things but that'll be that'll be the next chapter so thanks again for sitting through this one enjoy the next chapter and learning so much about this instrument that can revolutionize your band room <laughs> 